The Glenn Seaborg Award was started actually when Paul Christopoulos, who was an assistant athletic director at the time, and I met with Dr. Seaborg to uh, talk to him about the idea of banding together the excellence of academics as well as the excellence of athletics at the University of California. Dr. Seaborg, of course, was the epitome of, of excellence uh, from the academic side. He was a wonderful chancellor in that he was supportive on a personal basis of us as athletes, very supportive of this concept, in other words, the Glenn Seaborg Award, to recognize a former football player's life of accomplishments and excellence and, and uh, really being something special. It, it honors both the accomplishments of a, a former football player and also what they've done beyond uh, the playing field. Uh, I think more importantly, what they've done beyond. Uh, it's a very uh, subjective thing uh, in terms of how we decide the candidates, uh, but those two criterions, uh, having been a former football player and uh, someone who's done something beyond the sport are, are what we look at. The University of California is one of the great institutions and the people who come here need to know the history. They need to know the tradition. They need to know that, and we all know there's no shortcuts at Cal. You, you are a student and you're an athlete and you're expected to hold up your end of the bargain in all areas. I think it's something that uh, we're proud of and it's something that we can wave the flag about and, and uh, we can let people know what it takes to be an athlete and a student and then continue your life's work and, and do as well as you can and, and maintain that same excellence that you have when you're here. It does not recognize your ability as a football player, even though Rod Franz and Les Richter were as good of players as we've ever had. It was the non, the fact that you were a football player and on the team, and then what you've done with your life in terms of accomplishments and achievements and, and uh, positive things. And uh, not necessarily the great player back in the old days, but a player. It, that's the one that's, uh, that rule isn't broken. Everyone is a former Cal football player. We've had uh, candidates uh, that have been players and then coaches. Uh, players that have been, you know, players and then physicians, uh, judges. Uh, so we've covered uh, quite a bit in terms of our selection process. And uh, I think it's worked. And uh, uh, our membership in terms of the board is composed of uh, uh, former football players, all of us. And uh, I think we take to heart uh, the selection process. And we try to do uh, the best thing we can in terms of deciding what, who the candidates are and, and deciding what the criterion is, and, and I think we've been successful. If you look at the, uh, the body of work and the 20 plus uh, candidates over the years, uh, it's a pretty good group. When I heard about the award, I was overwhelmed uh, because I, uh, uh, of course, I follow the award, I'm on the board of the award. Uh, I know the, the past winners of this unbelievable award, and uh, I was very humble. I, and I think maybe the, the thing that stood out is a lifetime of achievement. And uh, whatever that meant to the voters, uh, I will appreciate and uh, hope I can live up to it.